Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail the death of Oakland teenager, Nia Wilson. Nia Wilson was born November 12, 1999. She was a cheerleader and also a rapper. She dreamed of having a dance studio, and her and her cousins were in a music group called Girls in the Hood. She also went to Dewey Academy in Oakland and was set to graduate. But on the night of July 22, 2018, everything would change. Nia and two of her sisters were returning from a party at their aunt's house in Concord. Nia and her sisters got on a bar train at the Concord station and went transferring trains at the MacArthur station in order to go home. According to a bar spokesperson, the perpetrator also rode to Concord station. At approximately 9.30 p.m. at the MacArthur station, the perpetrator slashed Nia's throat and stabbed her older sister in the neck. The attacker was silent and stood back watching as Nia died. Nia's sister who was stabbed in her neck survived and her other sister was uninjured. Then the perpetrator fled after the incident. Thank you. One woman is dead. Another is injured after being stabbed at a BART station, apparently at random. KPIX 5's Jessica Flores is at MacArthur Station with new details. Jessica? Well, Michelle, things are back to normal here at the MacArthur Station. It is back open after being closed throughout the night as police investigated this stabbing. They're still looking for the suspect. But we know that the two women were attacked here, and one of those women has died, the other in the hospital. And right now, police are saying this was totally random. Now, it all happened around 945 last night. Uh, one, Both of those women were getting off the train when it happened. Police say that the man who did it is described as a white man in his 20s or 30s with short hair and a heavy build. Now, this all happened again as they were getting off the train. That's when the suspect attacked. He then ran downstairs and took off. We spoke to one of the victim's fathers. I never imagined myself going through nothing like this. That's my baby girl in the Sister worst nightmare. And the victims' identities have not been released at this time. Meanwhile, BART is working to calm any fears about riding the train this morning. Officials are saying the system is safe, but this is the second BART stabbing in the last several months. Two people survived a stabbing uh, in April when a suspect randomly attacked them at the Coliseum BART station. Police later determined and identified a man named John Cowell as the killer based on security cameras at the scene and a backpack with Kyle's identification inside and a witness statement of him wiping a knife, clean and fleeing after the attack. The Wilson sisters later told reporters they have never seen Kyle before the stabbing. Activists and news outlets speculated the attack could have been racially motivated. Oakland's mayor at that time would say the fact that the victims were both young African-American women stirs deep pain and fear in all of us who acknowledge the reality that our country still suffers from a tragic and deeply racist history while still confirming that the city has no room for hate, the city stands for against racial hatred and white supremacy. But she reinforced that officials have no evidence that the killing of Nia was racially motivated. Bart police chief will later state this was the most vicious attack that he ever seen during his 30 year police career. John Cowell's parents later released a public statement where they claimed that the attack was possibly motivated by John's mental illness. John's family will state that he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Nia's family and activists maintain that the attack was targeted and racially motivated. John was arrested on July 23rd, 2018 at the Pleasant Hill BART station at 6.27 p.m. A witness is reported responsible for his apprehension and a witness said that John was at the station and she called police. John was then booked on charges of first degree murder, assault with a deadly weapon, and violation of parole. John had a long rap sheet. His earliest brush with the law came at the age of 18, where he was arrested for allegedly beating up a man and his daughter. In 2009, John was charged and arrested with felony assault for hitting a 51-year-old man and punching his daughter. In 2013, John was convicted of battery in Walnut Creek. In 2015, John's family filed a restraining order against him after he allegedly tried to enter their home while under the influence of drugs. Later that same year, John was arrested for possession of a controlled substance after he was found high on meth and was sentenced to 90 days in jail. In 2016, John was arrested for petty theft and illegal possession of tear gas and possession of illegal smoking device and drug possession, but these charges were dismissed. In 2016, John had been found guilty of second degree robbery after he brandished a knife and a fake gun in a lucky store in El Cerrito Plaza after a security guard confronted him over stealing. He was arrested in El Cerrito Bar Station and was sentenced to two years in federal prison. 
John had been released on parole in May of 2018. After Nia's death, the hashtag Nia Wilson, say her name, and justice for Nia Wilson went viral on Twitter. On July 23rd, 2018, over a thousand protesters attended a march through the streets surrounding MacArthur Park Station, carrying signs with Nia Wilson's name and chanted, no justice, no peace. Justice for Nia and her older sister. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. The crowds raised their signs and their voices at the growing memorial. Nia's mother also attended. She was consoled by family, friends, and a community of support. This man just came and did all this to my baby, though. My baby, my baby. She didn't deserve this. Even NBA superstar Stephen Curry helped raise over 21000 during a game for young Bay Area athletes in San Francisco, which he streamed on his Facebook page. Our night beats Chris and Ayers is in San Francisco, where Steph Curry took uh, time out to try to help her family heal. He did. Uh, Steph actually came out here to Keysar Pavilion to coach some of the most promising high school athletes in the country. But tonight wasn't just about basketball. Steph! Before the first whistle blew, Stephen Curry took center court at his basketball camp's all-star game, not to play, but to pay tribute. I'm sure everybody is aware of the tragic uh, the loss that we've had in the Bay Area recently uh, with the life of Nia Wilson. Curry dedicated tonight's game to the family of Nia Wilson, the young woman brutally murdered at a BART station July 22nd. Nia's father says he met briefly with Steph before the game. He told me I had a very nice family and he was uh, looking forward to uh, spending time with us, me and my family. But Curry wasn't just talking tonight. Again, he was on a so mission. Everybody who's watching at home on the live show on Facebook, please hit the donate button. Everything that is donated today, all the proceeds, 100% will go to the Nia Wilson family. Neil's funeral was held on August 3rd, 2018 at the Axe Full Gospel Church in East Oakland. Her funeral was live streamed and 18 does were released at her service to represent each year in Nia's life. The family of Nia sued Bart for failing to protect Nia and her sister, especially because transit officers had caught John skipping fares a few days before the attack and because of previous arrests at the Bart station. Nia's family stated that John should have never been allowed back at the stations. The law firm representing the family prepared a suit claiming that John's violence was foreseeable and preventable. The claim also contended that two weeks before the attack, that John had threatened several people on the BART, but the BART employees were not available to take the report. The family sought financial compensation for Nia Wilson's death and also her sister, and also emotional distress in addition to improved safety measures in order to prevent further attacks from taking place. The woman stabbed to death on a BART platform is planning to sue the transit agency. Nia Wilson and her sister were both attacked at the MacArthur station last month. Their family says BART should have done more to protect riders. They say the suspect, John Lee Cowell, should have never been allowed into the station. Cowell had previously been stopped for fare evasion. He was arrested at the Pleasant Hill station the day after the attack. In a statement, Bart said, our hearts break for the Wilson family. Bart, as an agency, will continue to do all we can to ensure a safe trip for our riders. It says it's taken several steps to reduce fare evasion by having working cameras in all train cars and stepping up patrols using overtime. Nia will later be celebrated with her graduating class and her family will show up to represent her well. Orba reports she wasn't there to celebrate an important milestone, but her family was there on her behalf. Sitting in her seat, a photo, flowers, and her mortarboard. Nia's throat was slashed on the MacArthur BART platform when Nia's mother and father stepped on stage to accept their daughter's diploma. I'm very proud. Uh, this is an achievement that me and my daughter sat down and spoke of several times, and it's so heartbreaking that she's not here to, to experience this for herself. On July 17, 2020, John was later sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. On January 5, 2023, John appealed on his life sentence and was rejected by unanimous decision by a three-judge panel. Lee 
Cal lasted about 15 minutes this morning before a judge removed him from the witness stand. The judge had enough. Cal was combative toward the prosecutor and yelled a bunch of incoherent things during questioning. He kept saying, last time you said I'm not found guilty. Now, so what do you want me to say now? Like last time you say that I'm not guilty. And he just started like getting really hyper and hyper and hyper. The suspected killer also directed some profanities at the prosecutor before being escorted out. The outburst happened as the prosecutor was showing surveillance video of the attack on a barred platform in Oakland that killed Nia Wilson in 2018. Wilson's family and friends say Cal was putting on a performance almost worthy of an Oscar nomination. We hope the jury see what it is too. It's, it's a show. It's an act. He's very smart. He's using big words. I believe he's been coached. It's just an act to me. Um, he's showing signs of manipulation. John Lee Cowell didn't show any emotion during his sentencing today, but the Wilson family did as they remembered Nia and claimed justice. Once back, and it, no difference here. Uh, they were looking for justice. And Veronica today, they say they have justice because of these two consecutive life sentences. Nia was only 18 when she lost her life. RIP to her. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.